It's time to finish up the final step in business planning because it is still October as we record this, which is business planning month. Time to measure and track your results. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, hello and welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 187. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jan, Jan, I almost called you January again. That's funny. Jan, another business planning month comes to an end. Well, does it? Because somebody might be listening to this and it's another month of the year and it's never too late or early. It's always time to do a business plan. So, That's right. But it is true. We like to focus on October. That way you finish the year strong. You get serious and all you procrastinators, I'm one of them, you sit and you really do the work. So let's review what we've done so far. And Matt's going to tell you how you can go get all of this free stuff including a detailed training where Matt and I walk you through how to do all of this, right? Yep. It started with reviewing where you are so far this year. We have a cool download that goes with that. So you can get your numbers, you can get clear what worked, what didn't work. Then we talked about how to set new goals, clear, smart, measurable, specific, attainable. I'm not going to go through all that. You have to watch that episode if you want to know what smart goals are. Last week, we talked about the actual business plan that we're giving you completely free. Mm. And uh, now we're going to get into, now that you have a game plan, we're going to talk about how to build an action plan and other some other great coaching tips and strategies to sound track, measure results, and make course corrections. But Matt, what do they have? Where can they go get it? Tell them Well, that. the best and easiest place to get your information is go over to WBNLcoaching.com. Go to our freebies tab. Everyone loves a freebie. I know everyone loves a freebie. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Our freebies tab, and um, you'll the very first one is uh, the uh, uh, fundamentals or agent fundamentals um, for real estate and business planning. That's our very first course there. It is really just kind of carved out from our real estate sales builder course. It really focuses on your business planning um, uh, process there. So once you get into, once you download your course, you'll have access to all the downloads that Jan just talked about. Not only just the business planning spreadsheets, but also your goal writing workbook, all of the the uh, the tools you'll need to make sure that you can step through that entire process. I don't know exactly how many documents there are. I want to say there was like 16, 15 or 16 documents. That's a lot included in that particular uh, module. And it'll all be for you there. But the greatest part is not only will you have all the documents, now you're also going to have a whole video series to tell you to, to walk you through it once again. So if you've been following our, our podcast for the last month, we've been going through it step by step, um, but you'll be able to have it at your fingertips as long as you, you know, have that course um, uh, at your at your fingertips to walk you through, do a little refresher and remind you as you build your plan. So it's kind of foolproof. Um, and that's all for free. What do you know on your freebies tab? I did mention this was part of our bigger course, Real Estate Sales Builder, though. So once you get in there and you like what you see with our training, um, we have a Real Estate Sales Builder course. Um, just Three ninety seven, practically nothing. It'll pay for itself in less than one transaction. Uh, in that has twelve modules, over one hundred and ten documents, and a um, hundred or one hundred ninety six or one hundred and twelve. I forget how many lessons are in it. There's an incredible number of lessons in this. Uh, <laughs> well, so there's just a Don't ton be overwhelmed. Of we'll walk you through not only the setting up your business, but actually everything about your business, and it is a fantastic signature course of WBNL coaching. Absolutely. We'll and when you download in a little while as well. So good. When you, when you get agent fundamentals, that is module one of our course. And so yep. besides just the business planning, which is about three or four of the lessons, you get all the content we put together to help you, whether you're new to the business, uh, needing a refresher, or you're a seasoned pro and you never really put all the basic uh, fundamentals in place. There's a ton of content in that first course, which is completely free. Uh, so go check it out. You'll get to see what our style is and see the benefits. And it is really an inexpensive course, really. Um, we'll tell you more about in a little bit here where you can join our dream builders and you get even 10% off anything that we do. We'll, we'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But let's jump into how to measure and track your activities or actually how to build a 
success plan uh, now that you've created what your goals are, right? That's what our topic is today. So, you know, you can't improve what you don't measure. I 100% agree with this. And you really, we're going to share with you some tools that we have. You can create your own, but you, what I love is what we do really well at WBNL Coaching. One of the many things we do is we share with you the actual systems, checklist, documents, forms that we've used over the years ourselves as brokers, as operational folk, as you know, actual agents and so on. And you just take our stuff and make it yours. That is what I really love about what we do. We don't sit here and tell you what you already know. Everyone knows they need to have a checklist or have a system or have this, but no one really always shows you here is the system, take it and make it your own. Right. That and that's why there's 110 documents in our real estate sales builder program. That's why right. we're always so document heavy because all we really want you to do is make it easy. We've done the heavy lifting. Just go make it your own. So what are we talking about here? Um, well, it starts with if you did your game plan, your business plan, um, and you know how many transactions you need to do, how many sellers and how many buyers you want to serve in the new year, I think it all comes down to creating a daily action plan. And Matt, I am super excited to share. Matt's going to take my idea that I have on a piece of paper. I was just actually looking for that piece of paper because you know me when it comes to, um, I'll say Matt, um, there's something that I would love to be able to create. Oh, here it is. You're gonna you're gonna laugh. Okay, if you're watching, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I am gonna hold it up. Here it is. This is gonna become this document right here is what I write almost every single day, and it is gonna be my new way. I'm gonna get Matt to make it cool and editable, and then I have a game plan of how to take this as part of a document that we do every year too called my path. We're going to, we're going to streamline that Matt and make it better, but I got to get this over to you because I want to make this document, which is basically my daily to do's and I have it broken down into leads for me, videos that I need to, to make there you go. Uh, the active listings that I'm working on. And so it's priority connections, calls, texts, and priority tasks for the day. And then I have one that's like the weekly, you know, like, what do you want to work on this week? Well, frankly, there's going to be a, uh, to help with this, what we're doing today. I realized that I have daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly tasks that need to get done for WBNL coaching and for my real estate business. So I designed that one first, and that's going to be a new version of what we're going to do for my path this year. Matt. I, I love that you have video on there because we talk about video so much. Obviously, you need to have that yeah. actually as a prompt yeah. in your actual plan. I love the Jan O'Brien brain dump. It's one of my okay. favorite things, and we've been doing it for years and years and years <laughs> now. And we have a success story from the freaking brain dump. Uh, from last month, Jan's like, I want to do a postcard. I'm going to go old school and do a postcard. So I want yeah. you to do a postcard for me for the new area that I'm farming. So Jan did the brain dump of what she wanted to have on the postcard. We designed the freaking postcard. Ha! Huh, she got a listing. What do you know? I got a listing and I have another lead from it already that I'm trying to follow up. A guy wants to call me because he got the postcard. So don't let anyone tell you that old school stuff doesn't work because you know what, yeah. Whatever, if you do quality stuff, anything will work in real estate if you are persistent and consistent. And here is what I want to share with you is we're going to share this new and improved version of this because you've got to design what your yep. weekly, monthly, quarterly tasks are based on what your business plan is and what you're going to go do. And this is what we're talking about today. Then you need to put it into something. And I'm going to design something that works for me. You can take it. Design your own version of it because that's what's important. You've got to figure out what works for you. There's so much going on in our lives at any given day, any given moment that it, you can't rely on keeping it up in your head. You've got to go, I know that these are the five things I need to do on a daily basis. And if I do them consistently, these five things are going to get me business. And for me, it's things like uh, on a weekly basis, it's getting at least one video done. You know, two videos really is what my yep. goal is. One for real estate and one for WBNL. And the other big one is time blocking one, it will minimum of one hours, two is better daily on my calendar to actually follow up with the leads or to generate more leads. You got to do it. It could be holding an open house. I'm holding an open house on Sunday. That'll be one of that, that, that covers, you know, my, uh, like three hours. If I do it for four hours, that's two hours of prospecting. And then I'm doing things around it, inviting people. I'm going to run an ad. And it's a little handicapped because I can't put signs up in this place. All I can do is rely on 
um, you know, uh, the advertisement of it. I can put signs on the outside of the of the condominium complex. So one of the things I'm going to do this week, Matt, is I'm going to I had to come up with a creative way. So I'm going to go get some poster board and clip it to my open house sign. It's going to have the address on it. <laughs> Because if people are driving by this very busy road and they want to come in, yeah. then they maybe will be able to grab a picture of it or see it and then go look it up on their phone and come and see me in one of the 5,000 condos that are in this place. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, well, you've got to have it. Hmm? The find you in Lock Loman. Yeah, it's awesome. It's very exciting. So, all right. So, you need to know what do you have to do daily, weekly, monthly that are the best tactics and strategies that you like that you've chosen in your lead pillars all the stuff we talked about already in business planning that is what's going to make it happen so one thing to write goals and then say i need to make 25 transactions happen next year right. but if you do not have this part of what you're going to do on a daily weekly monthly basis then what the point what's the point you're just waiting for things to fall out of the sky which is unfortunately what a lot of people do yeah so you got to be intentional and there's no more excuses you've got to pick up the phone and make connections with people that's really what it's all about no matter what you choose as your lead gen, you have to make connections with people, all right? So the business plan is the roadmap for that, right? And then it becomes not only this action plan that you'll create from it, I'm gonna give you some ideas of things that you can do, but it also is becomes the document that you use to make the course corrections on a core, I recommend a quarterly basis. You know, monthly you should be tracking everything. You, uh, we're gonna share with you how to track everything from calls and all that to, tracking your production, which is part of one of the tabs that's in the business plan, our favorite tab of the business plan. And then, but you want to not wait a year and go, Hey, did that farming stuff I was doing work? You know, you should do a little check-in on a monthly basis and go, is this working? And then quarterly, you could make course corrections. I think you might have to go do something for at least three months or so before you really realize it's, if it's working or not. All right. So here's the deal. And I know all everyone that's listening is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So when you have your first review and you realize you haven't hit your goals, it's because you haven't done the daily things that Jan just talked about, because I guarantee you that's going to happen. Gonna and be. that's OK, right? It's a process and you have to get used to getting into the, the mode of getting that stuff done. But um, that'll be your first course cor uh, correction. I guarantee you. Do the daily. We yep. just need to say, do the daily. I want you to do your daily. I, you know, that's it. Figure out what it is. Let's daily. talk about what that could be. And then you do the daily. Did you do the daily today? Right. And if you didn't do the daily, then there you go. That, that It's just always going to come back to that. Did you do the daily? I like that. I'm saying it enough. Maybe it's going to catch on. Do the daily. It's All right. On. Let's talk about what could be in the daily. It's practically a dance already. <laughs> do the daily. <laughs> um, all right. Before I get into the daily, what's your... Oh. what's your daily uh i really love this oh gosh i gotta share this okay i was i'm doing a lot of driving back and forth from uh where i am currently in wesley chapel to um clearwater dunedin where i'm working and yay got a place to live gotta share that i am now 10 minutes from all the places that i really want to work <laughs> Awesome. But well, here's been the side benefit of driving uh, three hours a day on for most days in the vehicle uh, to and from commuting time is listening to podcasts. So, uh, you know, shout out to the other great coaches that are out there. The Brian Buffini. I've been listening to some Brian Buffini just recently. I, I love listening to Tom Ferry and, you know, you get stuff from everyone, right? But Brian Buffini has been sharing Earl Nightingale stuff. Um, cool story there. And actually, Matt, I really want to put some links in the show notes. I really want to send people over to listen to these couple podcasts where he has original recordings of Earl Nightingale, right? So this Earl is one of those 1950s guys with great voice, you know, like uh, cool voice. And he was super inspired and he was a very motivational, inspirational speaker wrote a started a publishing company did all these things and he was inspired by listening to napoleon hill or reading napoleon hill's think and grow rich right. but my gosh this stuff about writing goals from his voice from like the 50s is brilliant and it, it's just it's worth listening to it uh, so i want to send you over there and go listen to those podcasts where brian is just sharing in original recordings that haven't been released in the past and so it's his widow has is working with Brian Buffini to get the stuff out. So what are you saying that uh, ideals and uh, strategies from 70 years ago are still <laughs> well, they've been forever working. See? But this guy, it's so powerful. It's like 
just talking about the definition of a goal is, you know, being, it has to be a worthwhile, it's a journey, it's the journey that you're taking to a worthwhile ideal, ideal for you. And that's what we talked about last week or all through this is you just don't throw some things on a piece of paper. It's like you really are wanting to have this thing accomplished. And he talks about the subconscious mind, which is what is um, Napoleon Hill, what everyone has been talking about forever is that what you continue to put into your mind and say on a daily basis and you get up and he has this little exercise, which is kind of interesting. When our hour a day, you write your, so first you put all your goals down and you pick the really the one that you want, the one goal that you really want. And I'm going to suggest that you pick one for personal and you pick one for business. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And in your daily get up and daily routine, and this is what Earl Nightingale from 1950 something is saying, get a piece of paper, write your clearly defined goal. And for as long as you can t- f- t- write down 20 things that you need to do to make that goal happen. 20 things every day, five days a week to do that. Now you're not trying to get overwhelmed with all the things that you need to do. You're trying to find the thing that you know is going to be the, the, if you did this, this is what's going to make it happen. And I just absolutely love that. It's like, and what you're doing by doing this activity is you're doing affirmations. You're getting up every day, you're writing your goal down and you are putting down all the things that you know you need to do. Now, I I think you could take that a step further and already have that in our goal workbook. We have all the action items that you need to do, but there's the power of, he's saying after 30 days, you are programming your brain to say, I close $155,000 in gross commission income in 2022 whatever it is that is your goal. And to make that happen, it's what we're talking about today. I have to do these five things every single day. And then weekly, I have to do this video. And I'm committed to doing a monthly newsletter. Now, how do I make all that happen? That's what goes into my calendar. And that's what makes things happen. So uh, I'm going to really recommend if you want to have like some voice from the past, talk about, and it's so funny because that's Brian, Brian talks about like, don't be overwhelmed. You know, don't, don't get all, put off because he's talking about the mind of man and he's talking about it was the fifties. Okay. So, you know, women weren't all out in the workforce as much, even though they were, but not where it was now. And so it's not like it's sexist. It's just the way it was. The word man means human. That's how you look at it. So anyway, let's get back to a couple other ideas there. I just got to share that. So I've been listening to this and I was super inspired and this is what made me think about it. You, you write it down and you put it on a card. That's another thing that he said. He was talking in the 50s about put it on a card, say it first thing in the morning, last thing before you go to sleep, and as many times as you can, that card with your goal on it, you're looking at it all day. How long have I been talking about doing this? Yeah, I know. Well, you know, that morphed into the, vi- the vision boards, right? So it's, uh, it, Everyone's been talking about it. So yeah. you, put, you put it up. You put it on your mirror. You put it in your day planner. You post it. You got to get it into your head. You just don't do that business plan and put it away. So those are all things that you can do. Go to a vision board. Do whatever it is. I mean, I like the idea of just simply putting it on your screensaver on your phone. You know, like get a couple images every time a day to look at your phone. I mean, I had for Dunedin for a year. Yeah. I changed all my passwords to Dunedin. So let's just talk about that for a second. That is my success story of think it, what you think about, you create in your life. If you think about negative stuff and I don't have this and it's lack, then you get more of that. For over a year, Matt will know, over, well over a year. Well over a year. Close well, close year. To three. I, I changed all my passwords and everything to be Dunedin, some version of Dunedin, Florida. And uh, I am literally, I my address is not Dunedin, but I am like on the border of Dunedin. It's just this perfect place that I found that is close to everything that I need to work. And I am now in the area. I well, Effective tomorrow, I'm picking up my keys. Uh, I made it happen. I've been working there now for in that area uh, since September. So I made it happen because I had it on my phone. I had it written down. I thought about it all the time. I put an action plan and intention. I set my intentions and I started doing the things that I needed to do. And then things started lining up for me, right? Yep. Now, were there Absolutely. roadblocks? Yes. Was there? Was it easy to make it happen? Did it happen overnight? No, it was a process, but it works. Okay, so. I really believe in all of that, and I, I, I recommend that you do, too. You've got to be tied to what you're passionate about and what you want to do, this whole goal stuff. All right, what else do we have to share, man? I know I want to get into this probably uh, next, which is um, 
like what are the actions okay so uh i do believe in these affirmations and so turn your goals into affirmations and you can have a simple affirmation of like i have one qualified appointment daily i talk to five people every day five days a week you know that's the kind of stuff i think instead of just like looking you know you do say how much money do you want to make what how many transactions are you going to do on an annual monthly basis and you turn these into affirmations but figure out the three or four action items that you're going to do on a daily basis and say those to yourself and then go do them like if it's as easy as i make one appointment your day is you don't feel like you've accomplished your day until you figure out how you make one appointment today if that's a little overwhelming to you then back it up and say i talk to three people about real estate every day five days a week i speak i have a conversation that one is actually fun because I'm, I'm just, I'm finding it. I'm just talking to people. People always like to talk about real estate. I'm having lunch or dinner. And I'm telling you, my new strategy is to go take work and go to eat or go to a coffee shop. And uh, I'm thinking about getting a new backdrop for my, my um, iPad or my uh, laptop. And maybe it said, ask me about real estate or something like that. Because it's just a conversation starter. Sure, I have absolutely. gotten conversations and leads just by being someplace and being open to talking to people. Let right? me ask you a question, Jan. If you, let's say that is your affirmation every day, then make one qualified appointment every day. Let's say by two o'clock in the afternoon, you've made that, uh, made that happen. Do you change your affirmation to like, I can make one more? Or do you say in your mind, hey, I made one qualified appointment today and kind of, you know, give yourself a little credit and give yourself the, the you know, the applause for actually, you know, succeeding. I think it depends on the person. I, I personally would be number two. I would be like, woohoo, I got that done in the first hour. Yeah. Now I'll go do all these other things. Right. Because the numbers are going to say if you did that. Now, one day it may happen on the first phone call. The next day it could take 100 phone calls or 100 texts or 50 this and that to make it happen. But that's the idea. All I know is the numbers work out in the long run by whatever it takes. Whatever it takes is the attitude. You know, right. the burn the ships attitude. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at in my life. It's like whatever it takes, if you want it enough, that's what Earl Nightingale's talking about. The difference between even then he's talking about in this 1950s, like mindset is awesome. The average person walking around is not happy and they're just like drones in the matrix. He wasn't using that language, but fast forward, that is what it is. It's like get up and they're not happy. They couldn't even tell you what they're working for. They just know that they're supposed to get up and have a job. And that's the difference between, you know, the one in a hundred, the one in a hundred that's super clear and makes magical things happen in their life has a well-defined goal and they do what they have to do each day to make it happen. It's, it's so brilliant. funny because my sweet pea and I talk about this all the time because, you know, she, we're always having conversations where she is saying, you know, how different things are and how things are changed and the good old, not the good old days. She doesn't live in the past, but I mean, you know, it's that kind of mindset. I'm constantly telling her, I said, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Things really aren't that, that different. Sure. A lot of things have changed peripherally and in technology and whatever, but basic human behavior is exactly the same. I, I mean, you, you said it right there. It's like, yo, woe is me. Here we go. Trudging through our day. It's the same mind frame. Everyone, th th that kind of stuff doesn't really change. It's your paradigm that changes that's going to make you succeed and go farther in your life. So. Well said, Matt Emerson. Well said. Easy stuff. That is the point. So what do you want to do? Do you want to be in the matrix? Or do you want to break free and free your mind and sky's the limit? It's up to you, though. See, you got to take action. It's up to you. It's so up to you. You know. We love business planning. <laughs> business planning and goal setting, baby. Create an action plan that works for you. So we have in our uh, – we pulled this out if you're watching on uh, YouTube. If you're listening, I'm just going to go through a few of these things. There's like 12 things on this list. You certainly are not going to do all 12 of them. It's just to get your idea of what is it that you do on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. And then you're going to create it and put it into some form, which we'll have very shortly. We'll have it by next month, the form I'm going to use, because I have to have it visually in front of me. I got it over here on a whiteboard, the videos I need to work on, because I can't, it's so much in my head. There's so much, to your point of what uh, Laura was saying, it's things are different. What's different is the amount of information that yeah. we're bombarded with and how quickly, and that's what causes so much stress. There's so much there. Whereas, you know, in the fifties, you TV, yeah. And the newspaper, that's where you got your information and the neighbors, right? Now it's like, um, Seriously, we're, 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 how did you find out about what was going on in the world in the 50s? Oh, that's right. Radio. Absolutely. Radio. Radio, TV, 
and newspapers, maybe some magazines like Life and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So it's things like first and foremost, how many contacts daily do you need to make? I mean, this has to be on everyone's list. What's your number? How many contacts? And by contacts, I mean calls, text, video text, emails. How many connections? Let's call them connections. How many connections do you need to make on a daily basis to make your goals work, for your business goals work? Uh, this is, again, shout out to Buffini. This is where I learned it. How many personal notes are you going to send on a daily or weekly basis? I am. Um, uh, would love to get your help, Matt, on this to design a note card. I want to start sending some more business, I mean, uh, personal notes after I do something. Thank you. Like right now, I have some notes I need to send out. Uh, and that just needs to be the notes. The only way the notes work, in my opinion, is they got to be in front of you. They got to be sitting on your desk space that you got to carry them with. And then you're looking for the one or two options every day to, to send somebody a note. Right. I got, I am committed to doing that. So those are two are on my, my list. Next it's how many people in your database that could be tied into uh, the contacts. You know, you could do that the same way, or you could separate it to lead follow up. And I'm going to talk to three people that I know every day. Okay. The next two are, are you going to work for sale by owners and expires? If you're not, then skip that. If you're going to be the incidental, if I come across a for sale by owner, I have a game plan and I'm going to fit that in is one of the things I do. Awesome. Uh, both of those require uh, consistent. If you're going to really work it, just like anything, you need a plan and you have to be consistent and persistent with it and work it all the time. That's right. Uh, those are not going to be part of my game plan right now, but the next one for me is hold so many effective open houses monthly or weekly. And for me, it's one one a week is the game plan for me. One a week because uh, that's how you meet people. That's how I started getting some business going. One one a week. If you need more business, do them more more than one a week. And I think people are a little starved for those because we were without them for a year or more. Mm -hmm. They work. Okay. Yep. What are you going to do to mail or email your database? Uh, we believe it's the mon monthly local newsletter. That's what I do. That's my monthly commitment is a monthly local newsletter. And another commitment for me is at least two videos, you know, two videos that I'm putting up on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm farming. M Matt mentioned it. So if you're going to farm, geo farm, if you're going to do a niche, niche farming or specialty farming, what is it? What's the game plan? What are the strategies that you're going to do? We have a whole module just on this one on farming and one on uh, niche and specialty marketing in our real estate sales builder program. If you don't know how to do all that, you need to go get our program. We'll, we'll walk you through how to do it. Are you going to do things like door knock or door drop? You know, the, where I'll do that. And I am, I'm going to give you the idea I'm going to be doing. There's a new area in Dunedin that I want to start farming and I'm going to send the first initial mailer out. And then it's going to have a thing about, I'm going to be in the area at this certain date because I want to do a food drive in November. Yeah. So that's going to be the way I want to do a knock on the door and say, I don't know if you received my last postcard, but I'm um, in the area and I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for uh, non-perishable goods to give to the local food pantry here. So that's what I, that's an easy way to get in front of people. And that's how you meet people. And that's how you find someone, uh, knock on a hundred doors, you'll find somebody who wants to sell their house. That's how sure. it works. Do you want to take past clients to lunch? Um, do you want to do business networking? Do you want to just do, you know, what is it? whatever it is you're going to do that's your lead pillars, they turn into actionable items that you do on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. And then I finish always up with this one because I love this idea. Handing out five business cards five days a week. So if you do have a goal that says, I'm going to have five conversations a day, whatever, three, two, pick a number, four. I like number four. I want to have four business convert, real estate conversations daily. Uh, five days a week, count out four business cards, put them somewhere and make this be your affirmation daily. My day's not over until I hand out four of my business cards and have a conversation and get the other people's info. And if four is too much, say one. That's five right. people a week that you right. add into your database. Okay. Um, I can do one. I've been doing one, but I'm not doing it consistently every day. I haven't ha added five people this month. So maybe I just start with one. I'm, I add five people to my database weekly. That means if I haven't added somebody today, I got two, I got to get done now. <laughs> and then I've got three and you get the idea. Now, if you start doing these activities and you're knocking on people's doors, cause you're doing a food drive or you're having an open house and you invite people that all counts handing out your business card, right? So you don't have to make this tedious. You can have some fun with it. It's very so cool. pick your action strategies 
get up every day and don't be overwhelmed. Have like three to five things that you do on a daily basis that always work. And one of them is always going to be following up with your leads. Exactly. Okay. Hey, Jenna, Brian mentioned the, the uh, local newsletter. If you are watching on YouTube, if you go right up and poke the little button right up there, we did a whole video on how you can actually create your, oh, your, um, uh, your, your video, your, excuse me, your newsletter template, how you can do graphics for it, the strategies for actually getting that out to your clients. It's a great video. Um, uh, so go up there and check that out. That's it, man. And I, I'm telling you, this is all there is to this. There's probably a few other things that we have in our our business plan as far as strategies. Um, there are other, when you go get our free stuff, you'll have a couple other spreadsheets that you can use to track your progress on leads and this, that, and the other thing, whatever works for you. And if you're not into that, that's fine too. I mean, I'm, I'm all about keeping it simple. Figure out what works for you. So the, the final accountability tips we have because it's, it's difficult to do this by yourself. So I yep. recommend finding somebody to hold you accountable. Like find a buddy and share your goals with that buddy and then agree upon uh, checking in at least weekly. Uh, how am I doing daily? A texting thing is a good thing. Hey, you know, hey, Matt, here's my five dailies. What, what do I just call it earlier? Do the daily. My daily, my do, my uh, do your daily. He already has it up there. Here's my daily, and I, I'm going to be able to go with Matt. I did my daily, daily done. Okay, here it is. Meaning, know that you're going to hold. You have someone waiting for you to find out if you're going to go show up at the gym with them. You end up going to the gym, right? So right. do that. You could you could start or join a mastermind group. Get a small group of people and do that. Um, you can hire a business coach. You can join our WBNL Dream Builders Facebook group where we'll help you with that. And you can show up once a month with us live and ask us anything. We'll be your group coaches. And honestly, that doesn't cost you anything. Right. Okay. So, uh, and what do they do to join that? Matt, Super easy to, to join the, the Dream Builders. The easiest thing in the world to join. Just go to wbnlcoaching.com. And um, uh, let me find my little Dream Builders thing. Here it is right here. Uh, wbnlcoaching.com. And there's a big green button right at the top. In the top menu, it says uh, become a Dream Builder. So hit that and you will um, go to our sign up page which will get you over to the site. But when you do sign up, you automatically get access to all of our freebies. So you'll get all of our free courses, which there are four right now, and all of our free downloads, which there are nine right now, including the agent, the um, mega agent checklist or epic agent checklist, which is brand new to our downloads. Uh, but there's a whole ton of stuff you're going to get if you sign up for Dream Builders just automatically. They're already free if you go to WBL Coaching. But, you know, why the hassle of doing all those separate downloads? We can just get them all at once. So That's join right. our Facebook group and you'll have access to, like Jan said, a live workshop every month, all of our free stuff. And then we just constantly post in there all of our videos, latest stuff. So it's the one-stop shopping place for your WBL goods and services. And our final free service to you today is to come to our epic training. Well, that's, right? that, that's absolutely true. Uh, Matt, it, we put, the, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about what this looks like. So this is not your everyday business planning course uh, uh, workshop. You know, we've talked about it here on the podcast, but what we're going to do in a three hour free Zoom on November 16th, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific, is cover what we're calling the 15 real estate essentials to compete and win in 2022. And you guessed it, business planning is one of them. Um, that's just one though. We're not gonna just talk about business planning. Right. We put together the things that you need to be doing to be the modern real estate agent. We call it business planning for the modern real estate agent. And we have put together this epic checklist that uh, just did a video on actually. And I think our team's editing it as we speak. Yep, and it'll be it out is tomorrow. Uh, you'll be able to go get a sneak peek of the Epic Agent Checklist. Um, you can get it now over on our, uh, our freebies page. But uh, we did a video where I kind of walked through and talked about it and how to start implementing it. There's a lot on here. This and is actually checklist. now that we're seeing that, if, if you are watching this on YouTube, just go right back up there again because you're going to have the link to the video because it'll oh, be out point. before this video is out. So there you go. Yeah, go make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Between us, we are posting at least two videos a week. This podcast and between Matt and I, at least one more video about something that's going to help you, whether it's marketing and Canva, which my God, Matt, your Canva stuff is awesome. I'm learning. I, I watched your last Canva video. I'm like, what? I didn't know you could do that. 
it's always something. I think you learn from Canva. You're the master, but they're I always adding it. something. It's like go in, let's all learn together. <laughs> Forget about having to learn Adobe, and you know, I think a lot of people are turned off by, oh, I don't understand graphics and this and that because how hard it was in Photoshop and so. But yep. Canva, anybody can learn Canva. Yep. Anyone. So and so anyway, good stuff. Mark November sixteenth. You want to yeah, come? Link to we're the, not going to the registration page. Actually, right down in the show notes. So go check out the show. And notes honestly, currently. we're not recording it. That you can watch it later. We will. If you're part of the Dream Builders group, though, that we will have it available uh, to our Dream Builders group in Facebook. Um, but we want to really be able to have a powerful help you get a powerful, uh, you know, jump start to 2022, and do more than business planning. We want to get you fired up about which of these 15 things do you want to be able to do. Uh, maybe you're doing some of them, maybe you're not, but this is the stuff we're walking and talking and doing and we're having successes with it. And we're going to share with you stuff that's really working. That's it, Matt. That brings us to a close on another, well, we're going to do a little bit of business planning on November 16th, but we're, we just walk through in our podcast, um, all the steps to get a good business plan in place. That's right. So you, you can go back and watch these four episodes again from October for the WBNL podcast. You can go to our, our website and download the free course where you can get all the information. And if you need even more refresher, make sure you do join us for that course or that workshop on the 16th, because it's going to be a lot more than business planning. So you're going to get uh, that plus a whole lot more. So goodness gracious, Jan O'Brien. We're just content creators. Do the daily. <laughs> I, I got to put that back up. Do the freaking daily, people. The daily. Which might be, and I'm not sure, but it might be the substitute for use your damn CRM. Although they're both so relevant and which quite basically different. basically is part of your daily. Yeah, it is. Your That's CRM true. is part of your daily. That is the mechanism to do your daily because you're going to be putting your notes and using it to tell you who to call and whatnot. So there you go. Do your do the daily. Do right, your okay. daily. Go, All like right. Jan said, go check out our YouTube channel. Got great stuff there. Subscribe, hit that notification bell because that's how you're going to get access and notified every time we send a new video up there. And like Jan said, we are sending a plethora of information up there. So take care, everyone. Be safe out there, please. Be forever wandering, but not lost. Mm -hmm.